What's going on everyone? This is Warkid here coming to you with another League of Legends commentary. Now in this commentary I am playing as Bull Bear. We're gonna hop right into the action here. As you can see Udyr coming for a gank and I am able to counter it. Luckily I do have my passive up so I'm going balls to the wall. I am able to grab first blood with my bite. Every third attack you pop your W and it does trigger his up and he's down. Alright so like I said every third attack and then you press W and it activates your bite if it is up and it does uh, a good amount of damage to good finishing slash killing blow. Uh, so what I do is I start machete and five pots basically how any other jungler does. Some people like to start three wards and one uh, I mean three potions and one uh, vision ward or one ward but I just always get five potions because I'm not too worried about counter get jungling. I don't really do that too much. I'm a very passive player. Um, I do usually, sp uh, I started Smiteless Blue this game because I am Ball Bear and I'm, I like to be, um, I am very mana dependent so I like to have that mana regen early. So I get a Smiteless Blue then I go to my red and then use my smite on that. So right here I got a phone call, <laughs> which is why I'm not moving right now is because I got a phone call and I had to answer it. So there we go, now I'm back in the game. So I do apologize for that. But it's okay. Back in the action here. So in the jungle, what I do is the first, the first ability that I get is my E uh, for the fear. Um, this way you're able to get hits on to the whatever buff you start, whether it be red or blue. Uh, it fears them and it gives you the ability to hit them without them hitting you. So I do always get my E first. Then I get my Q so that I'm able to run from one buff to the next faster to reduce the amount of time it takes to clear the jungle. And then I get W last, and then I max W in the jungle. Now, a lot of people probably wonder why I max W, because I'm sure a lot of you either max Q or E when you're jungling. Now, the reason that I max W is because I like to do more damage on my ganks. Um, the finishing blow does more damage, obviously, as you max it out. So that's why I like to max out my W. Okay, so right now I'm just looking for the ability or... The opportunity to gank doesn't seem mid is winning bottom is pushed and top is the only one that's really like even steven right now so i'm gonna go ahead and let's try to gank there let's see how this turns out i also did buy a ward for my top uh laner i like to do that most of the time especially if my top laner isn't warding i like them to uh be safe so he does flash i do flash as well i want to burn his passive because his passive is really okay and that turret range is absolutely absurd but so we burned his passive, that's all I really wanted. This way it's easier on Lulu. Um, because HR's passive can be annoying. It's basically like a guardian angel for anyone who doesn't know. So, now that I do see that he had that warder because he wasn't overextending, I'm gonna go ahead and help uh, Lulu push this because I, from what I remember, I'm on Skype with, uh, well I was on Skype with uh, T and Crumpets here. So we were communicating with one another, I'm telling him just to push this lane so he can go back. Uh, pushing lanes is good because it reduces the amount of farm that the enemy gets if you push it to the turret because some champions um, do struggle to farm under turret and um, Aatrox isn't necessarily one of those but you never know. Alright so looks like I might try to get a gank on mid since the colleagues are extended and I see that she did just use her uh, little invisibility pool there but it looks like I don't know she just disappeared like a real ninja that was crazy. Alright, so I see that blue is up, and I want to go ahead and give it to Malzahar since he is ahead of the lane. This will give him the ability to snowball even harder, so I go ahead and do that. As you can see in chat, I type it now, so this blue is all you. The only time I never really give blue buff to my mid is if they're really, like, getting destroyed, and they're just going to wind up giving it to the other, per uh, other person. Even if they're even, I always give it to them. Alright, so he gets blue. He can take those as well, so whatever, no big deal. Alright, so I'll pop my E. As you can see, the fear is pretty OP. Good AoE clear. Unfortunately, bottom isn't doing so well, even though I got them first blood. Well, I got first blood, but I also got them a kill. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? It's, it's When you have a rise support against the Soraka Israel, you're bound to uh, lose lane. Right, so I see that Akali is ganking top. 
so I'm debating whether I should go up, and then I realize I should probably will try to gank Lulu through this push right here. So we do come over here to try to counter gank it. Alright, so I do. She ults herself. I told her to, I actually told her to do that because I thought that, um, hold on a second. I thought that Akali was going to go for it. So they are both going for me. My passive does burn. Unfortunately, they did pop Ignite, which counters my passive, which was smart on their part. They did it at the right time. But fortunately for me, Akali did try to dive me and was penalized for it. All right, so Malzahar goes in. He does have ult up right here. I'm not sure why he doesn't ult. As you'll see on the left side of the screen, it, it says that his ult's up. And I said to ult him, I was like, Mal, ult? The hell? But she tells me that his ult wasn't up. So I don't know whether it was a glitch on my screen showing that it was up, or he just didn't do it and felt like a dummy and just made up the excuse that it wasn't up. But who knows? Alright, so I got my first item. Um, on on Volibear, of course you're going to go ahead and build accordingly to the enemy composition. But Volibear, you want to primarily build tanky. He is a tank. So uh, items like Sunfire Cape, Warmogs, uh, Spear Fissage, all those are really good on him. Um, the enemy team comp right now is, I believe it's... Who's their jungler? I just blanked out. Oh yeah, Udyr. So Udyr's AD, which is one. Then you have Akali, who's AP, and that's one AP. And then you have Ezreal, AD, Aatrox, AD, and the Soraku, who doesn't really count. So the AD to AP ratio is in favor of AD, obviously. Uh, three to one. So I'm going to go ahead and build uh, armor. I'm going to focus on building as much armor as I can before I get any magic resist. Alright, so I do come in to try to uh, prevent that gank. Now, unfortunately, they nerfed Volibear. Um, his run used to be a lot faster. Like, you could go probably twice as fast as you can now, which made him so OP. And he was viable at a competitive level at that time. And now I feel like he's not. I mean, I don't understand completely why he's not viable at a competitive level anymore, but I feel like he just dominates so with you. Um, but yeah, all right. So I wasn't able to really counter gank that, but I am, I am holding his lane for him. Really, just trying to scare off this Kali. Do not, as a jungler, never feel afraid to steal a uh, laner's farm when they're not there and unable to get to it, because then it'll just go to waste in the turn. All right. So they are asking for assistance bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Alright, but I think they did just ward it. Let's see here. Alright, so yep, they did ward there. But I am going to be able to get away here. They don't do enough damage at this point in the game to kill me. They're too tanky. So I just go ahead and pop my potion. I'll get away, Jace, run! Okay, so I'm recalling right now to try to... I think I'm trying to go pick up a pair of boots. Oh, never mind. I guess I'm still farming. Right, despite that big wraith. Fortunately, Jace did die. He died to ignite. Alright, let's see if I go back now. They're pinging, so I go ahead. Jace is spamming pings on Israel. I do have my flash up. And I do have my passive up as well. This is the perfect opportunity to go ahead and go ham. So I tell him to go in. I am able to get the, uh, he does pop his E, pops his ult as well. I still have my passive, I am able to fight him, get him. My passive does proc, Ryze comes in and is able to finish the kill. I'm able to get a kill and an assist, and I only burnt my passive after, so no problem. Alright, so this gives me the opportunity to go back and buy now, let's see what I pick up. Right, looks like I'm going for boots of mobility. I usually always go boots of mobility on uh, all my jumblers. The only time I don't really is when I'm playing Udyr. I go boots of swiftness. 
All right, so I also bought one ward. As a jungler, also make sure to buy wards. Um, wards win games, guys. Vision on the map does win games. So just because you're not playing the support role doesn't mean you shouldn't be helping your team buy wards. All right, so I'm just trying to help this Malzahar get the blue. I do smite it and E it. It takes him like eight years to get it though. Right now what you see me doing is I'm just staying around this area in case uh, Udyr tries to come counter gank it. I want to be there to help him out. But fortunately, don't. He does get blue buffed, goes back to land. I just continue to spawn. Alright, so I put another point into my W. I, I usually just I max out W first, then Q, then E. I mean, then R, then E. E is the last thing because uh, the f as OP as Fear is, the Fear isn't that great on Volibear. Bear. It's really just more of a slow. So I'm not too worried about that. I'd rather have that extra final blow damage and uh, extra speed or. Yeah, the extra speed on my Q. So yeah, you see that little paw that comes above Volibear's Bear's head? That's, that means your killing blow is up because you attack something three times. In the jungle, let's say you attack, you attack the big wraith three times, you could still W a small minion. You don't have to necessarily final blow that one minion that you hit. You can final blow another minion. Alright, so just clearing those golems. I want to try to get a gank on this Aatrox here. I'm not, see, I see he came from there. I wasn't sure if he warded, but I guess not because he's not reacting to me coming. So, I do go in here. I am able to get my toss up. He does pop his ult, so I pop my ult as well. Alright. So, right now I tell Lulu to ult me when he gets up so that it hits him up in the air. But her ult isn't up, unfortunately. But my passive does proc, and we are able to get the kill. So good job by Lulu as well to follow up on that. Okay, so I'm just helping Lulu right now push the lane so that the enemy loses farm and that we are able to do damage on the turret. So right now I'm running like basically full mass, uh, full tank masteries and runes, so I really don't have too much damage, as you can see here by me hitting the turret. I mean he does hit it fast because the more you auto attack, the faster it gets or whatever. But he doesn't do a lot of damage on his autos. You can Q turrets, by the way, but I don't have any mana as you can see here, so I'm not queuing it. The Q does extra damage. Um, does more damage than your auto attack. I think it does like 25 more damage, 20 more damage, or something like that. So I'm basically just trying to get this as low as possible. So I go ahead and eat those minions so they stop hitting my wave. So unfortunately, I'm not able to get the turret down. I was going to go back, but then I see Akali is helping him push the lane. So I want to make sure that up and Udi is coming up as well. So I see Malzahar is also trying to come up, which is a good follow-up by him to react to his lane roaming. Alright, so I do smite that kind of minion just to push the wave faster. I do see Malzahar is coming in. So I do, do go for Akali because she's the biggest damage dealer right now. And she does go down. I am able to hit final blower with my bite. I do have my flash up, I do have my Q, so I do Q, I flash, look at that ult by Malzahar, look how far that ult is, really good ult by Lulu to knock me up and to uh, basically slow down that Udyr, but that ult by Malzahar, oh my god, that was like the furthest Malzahar ult I have ever seen in my entire life. I might, I might make that a separate video called the longest ult known to mankind or something like that. Well, it wasn't, okay, it wasn't that long. I won't be over dramatic, but it was pretty, pretty fucking far away. That was like one of the longest I've ever seen. I wonder if there's ever been a time where Malzahar is ulted and someone went back into their base and it's just stretched across the entire map. Okay, so right here, I just put a little fear into Soraka's heart. But she just backed it. I don't know, they're still chasing. I didn't put any fear into her. Never mind. So right now I'm just moving left and right to try to dodge Ezreal's Qs. But he's not even Q, he's just auto attacking. And my my active, I mean my passive does proc. I didn't want to have to burn it, but oh well. So safe and sound now going 
back to base. I have 2.5k gold. I have 4 kills, 1 death, 5 or 6, 64 CS. My CS could probably be better, but I have been trying to make plays. Um, that's what I like to do as a jungler. I really try to gank as much as possible and put as much pressure into lanes as I can so that I get my team fed. So for the amount of ganks I've been doing, I would say my farm is pretty good. So I go ahead and buy early oracles. Probably not necessary because I don't think they have that much vision on the map right now. Uh, but I had a little extra gold to spend, so I figured why not just increase the uh, map control that we have. So tell, I tell Mazahar that I do need this blue. He goes in really deep anyway, so I don't think he'll make it out of this one alive. He does go down to Israel, so I go ahead and just take the blue. My uh, Oracle Elixir is actually really good for Akali as well. If she ever goes down into that circle, I can just stand over it and see her. So it's good to have. I guess you could say it's good to have it regardless. To your side, do not know fear. So yep, as you see there, I pop my Q just to run to the red a little faster. Shortens the clear time of the jungle. Check that bush to make sure that they didn't have a ward there. Alright, I just bit that bitch. Pop my Q. Alright, so I am going to go top now because Aatrox is overextended. Unfortunately, he does have his passive up. But let's see what we can make of this. I see he doesn't have any wards in that try, so I am able to push, no problem. I wait for him to pop his Q because I know that's his getaway. I know how Aatrox works, I actually play him a lot. Alright, so I tell Lulu right here to ult me when he comes up, so that it knocks him up in the air, and he can't go anywhere. So he is down for the count. Look at that big bear. That was one big bear. It'd be cool if Volibear Bear was like how Zack works, like he got bigger the more health he had. Oh, there's a ward. There we go, cleared that bad boy out. So I'll go ahead and put my ward down at Baron just to have some Baron vision, as well as a ward for top. So I see that they are all mid right now. But I do see that we have numbers, as you can see, so I go in. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this Israel. He does pop his E, which means he doesn't have any more escapes. All right, so I do bite him just to do more damage, and he is down for the count. Good job by Lulu. Volibear Bear is such a beast. Oh, I love Volibear. Bear. I just, I don't understand why he isn't viable anymore. I, I don't know if it's because of the reduced speed in his Q, but like he just, he just got so much CC. He's such a tank. He, he can do damage with his bite. Like, he's just insane. Alright, so I, I am unstoppable now. 6 and 1 with 6 to 6. I mean, 6 assists. That's a tongue twister. Jesus. 76 CS. Yes, not bad, not bad. Alright, so Kali does pop an invisibility thing. Look at that damage by Malzahar's E, I think it is. I'm not sure if that's a C. Alright, so they're just letting us take free inhibitor without any content contesting it at all. So I do tell them to back out because that's the problem with a lot of teams. A lot of people will get something and then they'll be really greedy and they just want to stay and fight with like no man and no health. So Let the storm I told them to get out. Sniveling cubs. The thunder calls. All right, so I still have my oracles, but I guess we're going to go back now. Right here, I was trying to beat Akali. I was hoping she would um, R into me, so that I could just toss her onto the turret and then kill her. But I guess she was smart. Dodge his Q. All right. Put another point into my Q. Now I have my Q max, my W max, my R is almost max. And I'm just basically saving E for last. So at this point of the game, I start to get frame lag. So I do apologize if you're starting to see some uh, frames mess up. Uh, nothing I can really do about it. It's Fraps, the program. It's not really me. All 
Alright, so I do go back. I am able to finish my Sunfire Keep. Sunfire Keep is really, really good on him, especially when the other team has so much AD. But it also does that AoE damage when you go in into the middle team. Um, so it looks like I am also build, trying to build Aegis here because I took a I looked to see if Ryze was building support or building damage, and he was building damage. So figured I'd get the Aegis. Bulwark is really OP on uh, Volibear because it makes him tankier. Oh my god, look at that ult. Malzahar goes ham. And he goes down for the count. Malzahar ult is so ridiculously strong and like annoying. Malzahar is very annoying to first in general. There's just so many champions that I, you don't see at competitive levels anymore that like make me wonder why. So I do flash onto my toss completely just stopped. I didn't did you did anyone see that? So I do bite his passive. He is down. My pack of pro Oh, there we go. Lulu ulted me, so I'm good. I thought we were gonna go for that turret, but then I realized we don't have have it. So we just killed three right there. Uh looks like we can end the game here. Sorry for the frame lag, guys. So it looks like we're gonna go ahead and push this minion wave. Alright, cleared that out. Pop my Q onto the turret to do extra damage. As you can see, I can just stand, withstand any damage that they put at me at this point in the game. Since I am 6-1, I am very ahead of the enemy team. We're not going to be able to get that other turret because of minions, so I go ahead and ping this one so that we get this and the other inhibitor down. If you're unable to get Nexus turrets down, I highly recommend just going for all the inhibitors because if you get all inhibitors, it's pretty much GG. The reason for that is because super minions will just swarm the enemy base. Alright, so it looks like we're going for this last turret here. Let's see if we're able to take it out. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, so we do take it out, and now it's just right onto the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. Uh, also, please follow the links in the description below. Uh, I do have a stream. I stream every day. Uh, I've been streaming solo queue lately, so please make sure to check it out and give it a follow. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.